What's cracking guys? And today we're gonna be discussing the reason why you won't be able to enjoy One Piece to its fullest for much longer. Now obviously no, the manga is not going anywhere anytime soon. It remains one of the best selling manga of all freaking time. No, that is not what I'm going to be discussing. It's more of a fact of how your enjoyment of it is going to be altered greatly once a certain event happens. And no, it doesn't have anything to do with the manga itself to an effect, but more of what's going to happen when something happens in the manga. I know, it's gonna be a little bit confusing. Now you probably have guessed what it's going to be if you have any inkling of what's going on here. It's the fact that once we know what the One Piece is, once the entire internet knows what the One Piece is, it's gonna lose a lot of its air of mystery. Now obviously I'm not saying once we find out whatever the One Piece may be and there's lots of fan theories out there and no, it is not the power of friendship and the friends we made along the way. It is absolutely confirmed. It is not that Oda, the author himself has stated it's not that. So don't worry, it is not friendship. But anyway, the series is named after One Piece. The entire thing revolves around the central concept that pirates from all over the world are in this grand race to find this treasure that Gold D. Roger has left that will obviously change the world and make them the Pirate King. It's what set Luffy off on his adventure, as well as I say Shanks too. They're off on this adventure with the goal in mind to find this One Piece. Now obviously Luffy is not out there specifically for the goal of the One Piece. In fact, he really doesn't care that much but more of just becoming the king of the pirates in a sense of experiencing all the different things that the world has to offer. It is already stated that he just wants the journey. He literally loves the journey. And there was one point in the story, the person on Goldie's Rogers crew, his first mate said, hey, you wanna know what it is? And Luffy was like, no, you do not say that, uh-uh. I am not ruining this journey, all right? <laughs> you don't do that crap. And honestly, that was one of Luffy's best moments in the entire story. But obviously, even though it may not be at the forefront of Luffy's mind, it's definitely at the forefront of, say, the reader's minds and plenty of other key figures in the One Piece universe. Even the Navy wants to kinda hide what it is because it probably reveals something. Who knows? There's other things, but I'm, I'm not gonna go too far into spoilers here. That's not the purpose of this. This entire thing is pretty much not gonna be about spoilers per se, but still, I am gonna be talking about other series that obviously are gonna have spoilers in it. So if spoilers on your floor, Martin Fine, if you're gonna be mad about this video talking about spoilers, fine, get out of here, all right? This is about a concept in general. And honestly, spoilers aren't what ruin anime, in my opinion. However, when it's something that the entire anime revolves around, yeah, it's gonna be a little bit of an issue, especially given how popular one Piece is, not only in Japan, but also all over the world, and it's slowly, slowly uh, gaining in popularity as well. It's slowly gaining in popularity, well, no. Now you may be saying, no, how does me knowing the One Piece obviously gonna change the journey, much like Luffy, it's fun to go along the entire way? Yeah, I guess, but there was a big problem, namely in other series that definitely ruined my enjoyment of the series without the internet piping in and basically memeing the absolute crap out of it. And I have plenty of examples here that I can go over where, yeah, the series was kind of ruined by the internet. So you can't get mad at me by doing this because this was all over the internet, all right? I didn't ruin this, the internet did. One of my good examples here is JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, specifically part three, featuring Jotaro, and namely the subject that I want to talk about, Dio. Probably one of the greatest fights in all of anime, one that's been memed countless times, lots of cool epic moments, came about on the part three villain battle of Dio versus Jotaro. And I'm pretty sure 
everyone on the internet has seen some form of JoJo meme of Dio going, the world though, and time stopping, and maybe some road rollers in there, and definitely some ora oras or an oh you're approaching me. Yes, yes, it's all there. In fact, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys right now who have never seen JoJo are going like, okay, what's what's Dio's time stopping? What what is how does that ruin the experience for me? It was the mystery of getting to that point of confronting Dio that nobody knew what his stand power was. And it led to a lot of characters giving up their lives in order to find out what the mystery was in order to beat this final boss, this absolute unit, this guy who was the biggest threat to all of mankind. And it wasn't just normal character deaths. These were the main cast of characters. And yes, I'm gonna be talking about it mainly because it's all over out there, okay? Like the Kakuen, finally, when you thought our boy got his chance to shine, our MILF hunter extraordinaire, he set up this elaborate trap that Dio couldn't possibly escape from. And then he escapes from it, gets punched in the chest and bam. But with his dying message, he tries to give away the message to older Joseph out here. Here, who then has to run away has all this build-up figures out what the thing is of him stopping time is trying to deliver the message to Joe Taro himself but then he gets offed by Dio and it's just tragic after tragedy out here of them trying to figure out what this is and of course the mystery started with the classic Polnareff scene of him being on the freaking stairs and him trying to approach Dio but he's back down the stairs and yeah, there's that cute little gif of Dio t stopping time, like doing this little flip, putting him down the stairs and going back up. It it's, it's hilarious, okay? Just thinking about what he actually did in order to accomplish that flex. But still, you didn't know what it was. It was so cool seeing like, wow, how is he doing all this? But when you knew it was Dio stopping time the entire time, the mystery was gone. It was just like, oh, he's just stopping time. Ah, there's nothing that cool about it. It's like the air of wonder is gone and it's, it's just arguably way more lame. Another great example of this, Naruto. You can no longer enjoy Naruto. And why is that? Well, that's because Boruto exists. <laughs> I mean, yes, you can enjoy Naruto. You can really love the adventure and everything that goes on, but everyone knows Boruto now, and you know how Naruto ends because of this other series, which basically spoiled itself of everything that happens in Naruto. So like all the tension of like, is this character going to live? Is he going to die? Like you don't know, but it's all gone. It's all gone because you know what happens because Boruto is a thing. And you could also argue like, hey, it's Shonen. Of course the main hero is always going to live and things like that. Well, uh, I'm gonna throw back at you. How about Agami Got Kill? That entire series was completely ruined by the memes behind it. Everyone posting on the internet about, you know, hey, the lollipop girl, like, scene. That, you, know, you know, every character death in that one there was put on a meme, put on front display to the point where, like, it was no surprise anymore what was going to happen. And even the main character wasn't safe. Well, I guess Kami was okay, but, you know, the boy main character. And you could say, Noble, oh, it was a kind of a bad anime anyway, you know, too much plot poison, wasn't really that good. But still, if you didn't know about it, it definitely improved your experience of the show, at least a little bit. Because if you know the character gets off, you try not to establish a connection to that character, and it's just, you're less emotionally involved. And honestly, the same could be said with Your Lie in April. A great anime there. Fantastic slice of life. Like, you really go on an emotional journey, and I would argue the best time to have watched it is when it came out. Because the memes that came afterwards just completely ruined the ending. And, well, you, you just grow less attached. Not that it's not powerful still. You know, it's, it's just not the same. And that also leads me into a fantastic example of erased as well, where the whole 
cuck ending was spoiled to everybody online and everyone was upset about it, making memes after all of that. And I'm pretty sure the term cuck got popularized just because of a race. People were turned off of the series. They didn't want to see what was going on, even though the show is still enjoyable. And some would even argue that the main character got a better girl anyway. <laughs> but regardless of the fact, like that whole scene completely just, it just kind of ruined the experience for everybody with all those memes going around. Even though you could say it kind of ruined the anime itself and it was just kind of like a slap in the face, but eh. I could talk about school days, but honestly, I feel like the ending and the memes all around that are well deserved and you're really not missing out on that one. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll just, we'll just brush school days aside. So what I'm trying to say here is what's going to impede your enjoyment of One Piece once it's out there. It's not necessarily, you know, spoilers per se, but the internet telling you through memes and whatnot, the whole mystery is just going to be not there anymore because I'm pretty sure the entire internet is going to explode once you know what the One Piece is. I'm sure there's going to be a huge hashtag on Twitter. I'm sure there's going to be plenty of memes and everybody is going to know what it is. And why is that going to happen? Why do I feel like I know that this is going to happen? Even though, well, you know, Attack on Titan exists, but that's not necessarily ruined by spoilers per se. Maybe the ending, but definitely not spoilers. Like it's, it's just so involved in One Piece. In fact, it's named after the One Piece that everybody wants to know what the One Piece is. It's, it's literally the title of the manga. And for a series that started in 1997 and has been running till today, like that's a long time that you have gotten to enjoy this series. But Oda himself has stated that it's going to end between 2024 and 2025. And yes, you still have three to four years to enjoy this series, possibly even five. And I know it's a bit early for me to be making this video, but again, this series started in 1997 and it's been going on for a long time, but I still want to get this video out because I just want more people to Enjoy One Piece before the internet basically kind of ruins the experience a little bit for them. Because if there's one thing I can count the internet on doing, it's ruining beautiful things. <laughs> I will try my greatest not to try and ruin the entire series. I don't know, this is gonna be in like maybe two, four to five years in the future. I don't know if I'll even be doing YouTube, let alone if YouTube will still be a thing in five years. But I'll still try my best to welcome new people into the One Piece universe. But yeah, uh, just it's just not going to be the same once you know what the One Piece is. But anyway, I just wanted to make this video talking about how you're probably not going to be enjoying One Piece once you find out what this is. And, you know, maybe possibly new anime in the future and why sometimes it's best just to watch anime as soon as it comes out rather than lingering too long. But that's just a problem of the consumption of anime. <laughs> Regardless, I'm curious to know your thoughts and opinions on this. Do you honestly think this is gonna impede your judgment or ability to uh, enjoy One Piece to its absolute fullest? Or do you think this is just a minor detail that, you know, whatever happens, happens, it's whatever, it's who cares? No one's gonna spoil this. Sure. Regardless, leave your comments below, slap that like button, subscribe for some more quality big brain videos like this, and I will see you beautiful sons of guns again next time. You crazy mother...